Morning Live Fire Land all over the world today. We greet you in the name of he who is the rock of ages. If you build your life on him, you shall be secure, not just for time, but for all eternity. Hallelujah. His name is Jesus. To him be the glory. Amen. Well, you know, it's always good, particularly when things are changing in your life, to keep track of those things uh, that don't change. Keep track of one thing, to keep your eye focused. Uh, Peter said in uh, 2 Peter 3, 8, he said, Beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. Just one thing. And what did he talk about? It was God's judgment. He says, don't be ignorant like those that are unbelievers, that God once judged the world. God's going to judge the world again. He says, be not ignorant of this one thing. Judgment is coming. God's going to set things right. Jesus is going to set upon the throne. The day of the Lord will come. Well, then in Luke chapter 18, verse 22, the Lord Jesus told that rich young ruler, he says, you know, one thing you lack. That rich young ruler had turned in his report card, thought he had done very well, but the Lord said, one thing you lack. Look, at the Bible says that all of us have fallen short of God's glory. We've all been weighed in the balance and found wanting. There's one thing we need to remember. God's judgment is coming, and God's judgment will come upon us if we don't repent. So, we've fallen short of God's glory, but God has a plan of salvation. And so, that blind man in John chapter 9 verse 25 when they challenged him the Pharisees challenged him and said you know who was it that healed you he says one thing I know that whereas I was blind now I see you see he had a testimony that Christ had changed his life that's one thing that we can hold on to in this world this changing world that Christ has changed my life praise the Lord and then the fourth one Fourth one thing, in Luke 10, 42, you remember? The Lord told Martha uh, when she was complaining about Mary not helping her, he says, one thing is needful. And Mary had chosen that good part. You see, Martha had been in the kitchen preparing a meal for the Lord, but Mary was sitting at his feet enjoying a meal the Lord had prepared for her. Hallelujah. Intimacy with Christ. That's something, that one thing we can keep our focus on. And then in Philippians chapter 3 and verse 13, Paul said, I, uh, this one thing I do, one thing I do, forgetting the things which are behind and reaching forth to those things which are before. He says, I'm striving to be God's man. This is one thing I'm seeking, I'm, I'm, I'm being focused on. I want to be God's man. I want to reach forth and take hold of that prize. And then sixthly, this is wonderful. In Joshua 23, 14, Joshua had lived his life. He's at the end of his life. He calls all of Israel together. And he says, I want you to remember one thing. Not one thing hath failed. Of all the things, that the good things that the Lord your God has spoke concerning you, all have come to pass unto you. Not one thing hath failed thereof. Isn't that wonderful? Listen. God is faithful. Keep that one thing before your mind and heart. God is faithful. He's faithful in the past. He's faithful today. He'll be faithful in the future. And finally, the seventh one thing the Lord Jesus had asked the Pharisees. He says, I'm going to ask you one thing. And the baptism of John, was it from heaven or from men? In other words, uh, will you repent as John uh, called you to, the message from heaven? And they said, no, we will not repent. And that one thing that the Lord is asking you and I today, will we repent? Will we turn from our sins and we, will we turn to Christ? Stay in focus today. God's judgment is coming. We're all falling short. Christ has changed my life. Hallelujah. Intimacy with Christ is where we want to be. Strive to be God's man, God's woman, and God is faithful. Listen, if you don't know Christ, repent in this moment. Receive him as your Lord and Savior. Get a focus on life and eternity. In Jesus' name, amen.